Now, in a previous video, I explained to you how we can create these beautiful gradations of light on glossy surfaces. Now, in many cases, those beautiful gradations of light are absolutely perfect and that's all you need. But occasionally, you actually want to create a small black stripe or a slightly dark patch in the image to create a more gloss look back into those gradations. And you can still do that with the uh, light cone. Let me show you a couple of tips and techniques for that. Uh, process. Thanks to Squarespace for sponsoring this video. Use coupon code CARL to get a 10% discount. The first one is simply just to lift the light cone. And if I lift the light cone up here, you can see how I've just added a little bit of blackness to the edge of the product. And that is basically now the studio area from the outside reflecting under the bottom of that light cone where I lifted it up. And then obviously by changing the angle of lifting it, you can change the position uh, to some degree of where those black stripes appear. So you can see a black stripe appearing in the shaft of the shower head uh, on the top of it and also on the outer edge of the circumference of the shower head. So that's one technique for adding little sort of gloss black looks of uh, patches of stripes of black to create that gloss look. But we can also do it by adding black electrical tape or black card along the actual light cone itself. So I'm going to apply a little bit of black tape onto the light cone and then we'll put it back in position and see the black stripe that that creates. And you can see now on the video those black stripes that have appeared on the shaft of the shower head and on the side. And if I simply rotate the light cone, I can change the position of those black lines because I'm changing the position of them relative to the subject on the light cone itself. And you can, of course, modify those black shapes into squares or diagonals or whatever you require that suits your particular product. But it just demonstrates to you how by adding black lines to the light cone, or simply by lifting it up in the air slightly, how you can introduce some of these sort of gloss look black stripes back into your products. Now, of course, the light cone, whilst it surrounds our product to create that beautiful wraparound lighting, of course, it has to have an opening for the camera's lens to see through. Now, on the large and medium sized light cone, we have to leave a reasonable size hole for various camera formats and various types of lenses. On the iPhone version, we only need a very small opening because obviously we're dealing with a much smaller lens. Now, occasionally that hole or opening can reflect in the product, meaning that a patch of the product doesn't have the beautiful gradation that you would like. So what I'm going to show you now is how we overcome that problem. So if we take a look at this image at the moment, which we've got um, a high gloss gold polished finished uh, light switch or dimmer switch and you can see a pretty nasty reflection in the surface of the product that is because of the opening of the light cone. Now if that becomes a problem in your product first thing to do is simply try moving the light cone and you will often find that by moving the light cone you can eliminate the majority of the hole. So I just simply have to move the light cone backwards and that hole disappears. So that's one way and the simplest way to overcome that problem. The next way is to simply move the product. So you can often find that actually it may just be your camera angle. So if you move your product a little bit further over, then replace your light cone and then reposition your camera, move the light cone and you'll find that the problem has been eliminated. Other times, it may simply be a case of adjusting the angle of the product. 
So we again, we can take the light cone out and then with a small piece of blue tack or a block, you can simply put it underneath the product and angle the product to create a new view. And also additional to that, by adjusting the camera angle, by adjusting the tripod leg or something similar, then you can find an alternate angle on the product. So there are several ways to eliminate that hole and it's very simple, just requires a little bit of patience and looking through the camera's viewfinder or the viewfinder on the back of the camera and establishing whether it's better to move the light cone, move the product or move the camera. One final method you can apply is to actually change the focal length of the lens. Sometimes you see the reflection of the opening of the light cone in the product. And if you do, just changing the focal length of the lens uh, and a slight shift to position can remove it completely. This video is brought to you by Squarespace. From websites and online stores to marketing tools and analytics, Squarespace is the all-in-one platform to build a beautiful online presence and run your business. Head to squarespace.com for a free trial. And when you're ready to launch, go to squarespace.com forward slash Carl to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain.